Hello and welcome to our press tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to add Amazon's product to your WooCommerce store. For example, I have this Amazon store and if you come to our product section, then you can see that I have approximately 15 products which are uh, complete products along with images, descriptions, short description and titles. Let me open a product, a sample product and here you can see the, this image and these gallery images are also added from Amazon and this is the uh, title, the price, categories and short description, SKU categories as well as uh, the additional information. So uh, how uh, this can be added easily from Amazon if you have a website uh, a WooCommerce website and you don't have any products yet and you want to add them in bulk and you don't want to add them one by one uh, then this plugin is for you. Um, I'll uh, show you how, where to get this plugin but first uh, let me just show you how to install it. Uh, go to plugins, click on add new and when you have the uh, zip file for this plugin the link for how to get the plugin uh, you can find it in my video description and also you can go to uh, www.wordpresspioneers.com and uh, then you can find the plugin code there okay uh, just click on upload click on choose file and i saved it on desktop wpp amazon to wc which means to amazon to woocommerce so click on upload and install now i already have it and you can see this is active when you uh, install and active this plugin then there will be a menu called amazon products if you come to Amazon products, then uh, it will ask you to add an API key. So uh, this plugin is uh, for $20 and when you click on the link from the description, you will be mm, redirected to my Fiverr profile where I sell this plugin uh, for $20. But if you are a student uh, or you, can, you can't afford this plugin, then I'll give it to you uh, for $5 only. Uh, but you, uh, you will have to go to Fiverr and uh, then uh, ask me for this plugin okay uh, once you install this plugin and activate it then mm, you can see that it's asking the API key mm, so click here or just come to Amazon products and click on settings then there is API key uh, a place for API key some uh, margin and the affiliate tag I'll uh, tell you the difference between these two but uh, first you have to decide whether you are um, adding these products as simple products or external or affiliate products. Affiliate products are those which are sold by Amazon but you are just um, redirecting your customers to Amazon and uh, they will pay you a commission. But uh, selling products or simple products are those which are available on your website and uh, you are um, charging your customers for those products and uh, you will be responsible to deliver those products. So uh, first of all, let me get the API key. Uh, here is the link for API key. Click here to get the API key. You will first have to register on this site. Uh, click on sign up. Now after uh, clicking on signing up, you can either uh, log in with Google or you can mm, uh, give your email address and password and then sign up. But I'll um, prefer the login with Google because I already have a Google account which is not registered with them. It will automatically direct you to the Scraper API with the credentials it, uh, required by this uh, website. Okay, now uh, this is the API key. I'm uh, blurring this because I don't want to share my API key. So uh, when you click on this field, the um, API key will automatically be copied or you just select the API key and press copy. Okay, copy to clipboard, then come to settings again, paste that API key. Now, uh, if you want to sell um, products on your website and you want to add simple products, then um, leave this uh, selection as it is or um, you can choose affiliate products if you are planning to sell Amazon's products and get commission for that. So if you sell your products, then you definitely want to add some margins. For example, if a product's price uh, on Amazon is $10 and you want uh, to sell it for $1.5, uh, sorry, $15, uh, $15 then uh, you must write a percentage uh, for 
1.5, which means uh, if a price is $100, then you will sell it for $150, and the price will automatically be calculated on your website. So I'm planning to sell it for 1.2%. So uh, if a 100 uh, price product uh, is appeared, then it will be automatically for $120. Okay, now click on save options. And this uh, next field is for your affiliate tag. If you choose um, affiliate or external products, then you have to add your affiliate tag from Amazon. Um, first, you will have to uh, build a, an account on Amazon affiliate and then you will get a tag, your affiliate tag, and then you can use it here. But uh, currently I'm uh, adding simple products with 1.2 margins. Click on save options. Then click on Amazon's product. And now you will be able to see a field where you can put a category or a search URL and then click on fetch button. Let me show you what a category or search URL is. Open amazon.com. Now, search for a particular product or a particular category you want. Click on electronics or baby or beauty or personal care. Let me add baby and press enter with an empty search so it will get all the baby products here. If you see a list with pagination, uh, then um, it's okay. But if not, then click on see all results so uh, pagination appears. Okay, now pagination is there. Uh, now you can copy this link or you can add some filters. Uh, for example, I'm adding three star and up products only. Now let's copy this link and come to your Amazon section. Click here, paste it here. Uh, first, let me show you, I'm presently having uh, 15 products in my product section, but after clicking this fetch button, you will have to wait approximately uh, 10 minutes uh, to get all these products. Uh, if it shows total zero, then click on fetch button again until uh, it's getting the data. Once it shows uh, this data, then um, stick with this one and it will um, show you the progress of the products. Once this number reaches to this number, it means that all your products um, in this list will be added automatically to your product section. But let me just show you um, and refresh this page if uh, the progress is going. Okay, 21 products, which means that baby products are already adding. If you open a product on your front end, then you can see that uh, products are already added along with images, titles, and description, SKU, categories, as well as um, other options. I'm available on fiverr.com and you can ask me any question if you um, have doubt about these um, HTML tags, then um, the in next update, these will be removed. You can find this plugin, um, absolutely correct. Uh, and also the updates for future will be free. Uh, if you purchase this plugin from me on Fiverr, then um, if you need the updated plugin, I'll give it to you free um, for that account only. Mm, you must have to use that same account on Fiverr and I'll give you uh, the code for free um, when the next update is coming. Um, okay, uh, once this completed, you can use another URL from Amazon and then get all these products to your uh, WooCommerce store. So uh, that was all for today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and please uh, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out future updates. Thank you.